Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We're in chapter 112 Surah Al-Ikhlas Sincerity Call Root letters Kawala Which means to say It's your feel Amr or command verb The file or doer is Anta or you one male Huwa The pseudomir munfasil or Personal pronoun It is the muqtada or subject in the sentence Allahu this is your proper noun or known as Laftul Jalala and it is a khabar or news in the sentence which relates back to your muqtada or subject in huwa Ahad this is your badal badal we know means substitute and it is the substitute for the word Allahu which means it can be used interchangeably Ahad means one. If you look at the entire first verse, we've got say, He is Allah, the one. Looking at verse number two, Allahu, this is your proper noun, or laftul jalala, and it is a muqtada or subject in the sentence. As-samad, this is your khabar or news in the sentence relating to your subject. In terms of meaning, as means the eternal or the absolute, and it's specifically reserved for Allah Azza wa Jal. So look at the meaning of the sentence, it's Allah, the eternal, the absolute. Looking at verse number three, we've got Lam, which is a negative particle, Kharfanafi, Yalid, Root letters walada, which means to beget or have offspring. It is a feel madare, majuzum, which is a present future verb, which is in the justive mood due to the presence of lam. Or fail or doer is huwa or he, which is hidden inside the verb. We've got wa, which is a wow artifa, or a conjunctive harf, and this hand. Lam is your negative particle, kharfunafi. Yulad, root letters walada, which means to beget or have offspring. It is your feel, mudare, majuzum, but it's also majuhum. It is your present future verb, which is in the passive mood due to the presence of lam, but it also in the passive form. So look at the meaning of the entire line we've got. He did not beget and he was not begotten. Looking at verse number four, we've got wa, which is a wow artifa in a prefix conjunction. We've got lam, which is a harfanafi or negative particle. Then we've got yakun, which is a feel madari majizum which is a present future verb, which is in the passive mood due to the presence of Lam. Yakun, of course, is the present future form of Kana, which is, as, is a special case, which we will look at shortly. Then we've got Lahu, which is your standard Jar, Wamajurur concept. La means for, and Hu is your Damir, attached to it, pronoun, and it just means he. Kufu one. This is your khabar of relating back to yakun, and it is we know it is a khabar because it is always in mansub. And kufu one means equivalent or equal to. Then we've got ahadun, which is your ism relating back to yakun, and we know this because it is always in marfu. Looking at the meaning of the entire sentence, we've got. And not for him is anyone equivalent.